I'm going to explain how painting with 3D materials works in Procreate. Since I made my first 3D Procreate painting video, a few people have asked me how to work with materials, so I wanted to cover the basics. Here's a basic sphere with an empty white texture. Let's start with the sublayers. You can find them by tapping the 3D cube icon. Every layer on a 3D object has three sublayers color, roughness, and metallic. Color, you know. If I paint on my color layer, the color will change as you might expect. But for roughness and metallic, color works a little differently. When using these two sublayers, even if you select a color, only the closest gray tone will actually be used. This is because roughness works on a spectrum. White is 100% roughness, giving us matte texture, and black is zero roughness, giving us a nice glossy shine. Values of gray are somewhere in between. That's why when working here, I like to use the brightness slider with perfect black. This way I can see exactly what percentage level my roughness will be. Metallic is the same, white is full metallic, and black is non-metallic. Great, so now that we understand how sublayers work, we can package them all into a brush so that we can paint with all three sublayers at once. To demonstrate, I'm going to duplicate Monoline from the calligraphy category because it offers a clean, flat example. In the brush settings, find the same 3D cube icon from the sublayers and see sliders for roughness and metallic. When I change these settings and paint on the layer directly, the appropriate metallic and roughness values come along with the color. So if I chose a metallic or roughness value that isn't all black or all white, you'll see that it comes in at the appropriate gray level. Also note that you can change the texture for each of metallic and roughness to create sophisticated effects. There you have it. Now you know how to modify materials on a detailed level and procreate. See you next time.